Is your hectic life stealing your peace and joy? Same, friend. That's why. We are going on an adventure. We're gonna go camping on some crown land just down south, you know what I'm saying? Good old Alberta. If you don't know what crown land is, it's the equivalent to the BLM lands down in the Americas. I am feeling ready to go. This is kind of like our first foray, if you will, into the Canadian wilderness um, boondocking. Joel and I are two actors living in a van, and for the past four months we've been going non-stop. So we figured it was high time to boot it out and boondock on the top secret Canadian crown land. Ready to go shopping for a camping trip, and Joel loses the keys. Did you find them? No. Joel is an incredibly smart person, but with every single smart person there's a little bit of kryptonite. What's Joel's kryptonite? He loses things. So, the dangerous thing about a cart is that it tempts you to buy way too much than a rank can hold, doesn't it? Yeah, like, it would be really careful. Okay. If you carry those baskets, then they get so heavy. That's true. Basically, it has to be a weight lift. I'm doubtful whether or not this is all going to fit in our fridge. Okay, we might have overshopped. Oh, we're going to regret it. We tried to stop the bridge. Who was the best to cross the bridge? Joel. Okay. Make your magic happen, babe. I'm relying on those Tetris wheels of yours. I'm making it work. Oh, yeah? I'll just let him do his thing. This is what I absolutely love about Joel. When he puts stuff away, he just gets so frustrated when things aren't organized. We'll go through a whole spree and organize the whole thing. It's the best! What are you making, babe? My smoothie. While Jill eats his abominable smoothies, do you know what I have for lunch? A yogurt bowl with berries and honey and seeds and granola. I mean, delicious. technical stuff in Mexico. Yeah, we got this. Oh, look, babe. J and R. It was made for us. Right? Exactly. I mean, we didn't carve this, but we might as well have. All right, well, let's set up camp and get bougie. I love glamping. So our Starlink can get a beautiful, clear view of the sky. We're going to have internet. No problemo. <laughs> so nice. I cannot believe our luck with this site. It is just, it's picturesque and it's free. And like the whole time we were driving here, just like spot after spot was seen taken. And now there's just this gorgeous flat piece of land right here. It's not too shabby. Well, baby, what's the agenda? I don't have one. Shall we start with a glass of wine oh. before making the agenda? You're speaking my language. Yes, please. Let's do it. Jill's just getting some firewood, which is why you probably hear the chainsaw going on in the background because there's no chance that Joel will go camping without bringing some tools. I love that. I absolutely love that about him. Joel and I have just been going busy. Basically since we like got back from Mexico, we took that one little weekend break where we went to uh, right outside Banff. But now we have just a couple more days in that and we're taking full advantage of it, which is the best part of having a van. You could just drive, park, and it has everything you need, including the wine, you know what I'm saying, and water. Then we can be out here where we can enjoy nature and the sound of Joel's tools. No, honestly, I'm actually very, very grateful for his tools. Gonna go for a dip? Gotcha. Oh man, it's, it's got a chill to it, that's for sure.
I think you'd have to pay me before I get into that water. I'm taking you to paradise, paradise. You know where we're going tonight. I'm trying to enjoy nature and be all like granola, which if you know me, you know that is not my uh, first aura ever. I am not a nature girl or organic. Anyways, just trying to like enjoy the sunshine. It sounds poetic, doesn't it? Until you factor in bugs, they're like everywhere. And they're literally, ah, they're driving me insane. They're like on my face, on my... These bugs seem to think they own the place. And maybe they kind of do, but they don't own me. It's time for me to relax. I was just down here chilling by the river. When I found, look at that! I think it is the only ripe wild strawberry in this acre of the wilderness. It is so small! A little... No! Where did it go? I lost it! Ah, oh, no! Okay. Okay. Just look at that little piece of berry goodness. I think. I love this little treat. Hey, baby. I have a gift for you. Come here. Yes. Come here. Come here. It's a good gift. Is it a spider? No, it, I wouldn't give a spider to you. If you were you so bad, skeptical. I won't be so sad at... No, no, I don't even want. You don't even trust me. I've got trust issues. Maybe I'll just so keep scared. it for myself. What is it? <laughs> oh, he's a little strawberry. I'm a little strawberry. So they still they are in season. There is one one Aww, strawberry. I know you have it. You no, it. I got it for you. Aw, thanks, babe. Mm. Thank you. That was very good. Mm. I'm glad you liked Not it. Nearly as scary as a spider. <laughs> you thought I would. Give her a I have a new campfire cooking toy I'm very excited about. Mm. We're gonna try this out tonight. Can't wait. I'm ready to go. If I take a bite, I'm gonna die. Mmm. Delicioso. Mi amor. Let's just stay here forever. It's yeah. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I never wanna leave. I think of the cold as a noble force. Right, and what can you tell us about the science of cryotherapy? Yeah. Gives you dopamine. It's bringing me back to the inner nature. the way it was meant to be. Do I even have a penis or is it just a hole in my body now? <laughs>